and basically is about war. The other night I dreamt that two children were playing on top of a hill in the Gaza Strip. I woke up the hill. I wanted to hear what the children were talking about. I tiptoed as close as I could, and here is what I heard. Hey, Mohammed, let's build a city with mud. Yes, Joshua, I like your idea. I'll go to look for water. In the meantime, I'll draw a plan with a stick, says Joshua. When Mohammed arrived with the water, together they prepared the mix. Where are we going to start, asked Mohammed. I can build my house, and you ask Joshua. I can build mine too. While they play, the mud got in their faces and clothes, but they never stopped talking. Are we going to have a temple, asked Mohammed. We can have one, but my mom used to say that there is only one God and that it was everywhere. So why do we need a temple? We can build a school instead, says Joshua. And my mom used to say that God was a man and a woman in the same body, replied Mohammed. What is your mom, Joshua? My mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother were killed by the Palestinians. That is why I ran to the mountains. And where is your mom, asked Joshua. My mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother were killed by the Israelis. That is why I ran to the mountains. But in our city, nobody is going to hurt anybody. Do you hate the Israelis, asked Joshua? No, because hate is not going to bring back my mom, says Mohammed. What are we going to have in our city? We are going to have a hospital, a firehouse, a farm, a grocery store, a store, uh, two schools, and many houses for our visitors. Who are going to be our visitors? As Joshua. Only children are allowed in our city because when we fight for a toy, we always make up. Do you like my idea? That is cool, Mohammed. The grown-ups spoils everything. Suddenly, Joshua stopped working and sat with his arm fold over his knees and started to weep. Mohammed sat next to him and put his arms around Joshua's shoulder. Then Joshua sobbing says, I miss my mom. I feel very lonely. The world is empty without her. I miss my mom too, says Mohammed. I feel very lonely. The world is empty without her. <clears throat> My father used to tell me, if you are going to take revenge, prepare two graves. Now I understand what he meant. The other night, I dreamed that two children were playing on the top of the hill in the Gaza Strip. In front of the children, a giant rainbow smile. The sunset caressed the two boys with a mantle of healing light, while hundreds of white doves are passing by. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.